piercing damage, 8.4 damage per second. Um, this one is plus two attack. This one is the precision. Ugh. At this point in the game, I'm just going to go with this to be, I think that that's going to work well for me. Now let's keep working our way up, 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 up. Did I get anything else? Okay. Starting to get a little overwhelmed here. Just drop a couple hammers though. And we're almost level six, which is beautiful again, because I'm going to gain access to the next spell. What'd you say? Bulkathos guides my hand. I could have done the voice work for the barbarian. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh, awesome. Den of the Fallen. Let's go in here. You know, randomized dungeons. Something to expect in this game. And once more, you never know what you're going to get. Carrion nest. Obviously, they would be used to produce more carrion bats. You got to make sure you get rid of that. Fallen shaman, huh? Oh, I got some more lore too. I was able to trace some carrion bats back to one of their nests. What I found shocked me. The nest itself is a living organism, a mature bat that has been mutated by the level six. Yes. I no longer doubt that demonic forces have corrupted these creatures. So there it is, new active skill slot and leap attack. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go. Weep attack it is. Uh, I'm probably going to want to ignore pain if things get hairy. But uh, I love leap attack so much. And you know, it's just fantastic. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Cooldown, though. Something to keep in mind. Here's an experience shrine. So, obviously, upon getting the experience shrine, it is time to find things to kill. And obviously, once that happens, I, uh, I find nothing to kill. So, that's great. There we go. There we go. And leap attack is a fury generator, so that it makes it even better. Not only am I uh, closing gaps, but I'm also getting some extra fury to dump some more hammers down. So that's basically what makes this pretty beautiful. The fact that I picked that up. Okay, where are you going? Come on, thank you. I'm gonna be spamming this. Prepare for just like leap attack nonstop for the rest of this playthrough. Uh, it's <laughs> uh, definitely gonna happen. Definitely gonna happen. I just love it so much. I don't like those bats flying away though whenever they see their friends die. I really kind of wish that didn't happen. Alright. Oh, I got the lightning damage too from my mace there. I'm sure you guys saw that. I will not be denied. That's right. Force Barb. He knows what's up. Oh, I'm not chasing down those idiots. Come to me. Thank you. <laughs> um, Alright, there was another section. I'm just going to go back, though. Yep, just going to continue along the merry way to the Cemetery of the Forsaken. Well, that was not advantageous, I do not think. Didn't really do much for me. Just hoping Still to close a little more distance there. Yeah, that's good. That worked. All right, time to keep going north. Another shrine, healing shrine. I'm at full health, unnecessary. That's what that is. Let's keep going north. That's right. I can jump over crevasses. Suck it, Trebek. Easily my favorite class by far. Quite easily. I know you're going to say, well, Force, what about you haven't even done the playthroughs for the other classes? I'm going to enjoy them qu just as much, but um, as I said earlier in this Let's Play, this will be the first class that I, that I go ahead and use. No doubt. All right, well, let me pick up this first, and then I need to search for Leorix. Search for the Ark's crown in the Cemetery of the Forsaken. So I'm going to need to go through all these different areas and try to find Leoric's crown. Let's see if we can uh, locate this. Anywhere? Anything? Anything at all. Another hearing shrine. Again, unnecessary. Stone coffin. Nope. 
New lore. Let's have a listen. The tragedies in these lands have left many restless spirits in their wake, and they demand retribution. These spirits will take out their vengeance on any unsuspecting individual who may pass, for they believe that the blood of the living will yet restore the lives that were ripped away from them. Don't, don't think it works that way, though, unfortunately, for you guys. More experience. Oh, yeah. Jumping onto the low ground. Taking out baddies. And another. Wow, another lore. This is just absolutely loaded with lore. Lots of lore information here in El Diablo. Did I miss it? I thought I clicked on it. Oh, well. Ah, freaking A. <laughs> I didn't see them coming up. I was like, oh, look at this. This is smooth. I'll jump to the top. It proved to be. I'm stupid. Got some common scraps here. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, break this stuff down. Into craftable items for later. Ravenous dead. Wow. Those guys are splitting themselves up. I really like the phased, uh, I really like the phased creatures in this game. I like that there, you know, are multiple you know, you, you don't have, it's not just one thing, like you don't know, well you will, we will eventually know once we know all the characters, but you don't go into a fight and, oh it's just this one guy, we have guys who are splitting apart, guys who are breaking down into different, uh, you know, different parts as well, uh, the, 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 the torso monsters, all sorts of things, so. Alright, did I get a full look of the dungeon? I guess I did, it's pretty small. What did I pick up for items here? Magic orb, wizard, I will save that for my wizard, I will save that for my demon hunter. And I can put these bracers on. Increase magic find time to leave this area. And evidently that was not the right part of the cemetery. So let's go find the next one. Look at this. Oh, uh oh. Holy crap. Could be a little hairy. Oh, that guy's not even doing anything, never mind. I don't know where that other dude went that I uh, jumped on top of. Smother and buckler of thorns. Don't need. How's that two-handed? It's probably not going to be. Yeah, I don't want that yet. I'm gonna. I'm. I am going to want two-handed, but I don't want it until. Um, I do not want it until it's magical. Because right now it's. It's not. All right. What else we got here? Nice little gazebo. Let's take a look. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. That didn't work either. Reduce damage taken. Nice shrine. Let's see if we can put this to use here. Down, dead. And keep going. Make sure we stay away from those explosions. I, you know what I'm really looking forward to too. Um, what I'm really looking forward to as well is the um, the later difficulties. I really think that Inferno, the last difficulty, is just going to be nuts, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how difficult it really is. Really looking forward to that. Nothing doing there. I got this guy. When's my next skill unlock? Let's take a look together, shall we? Level 12 is going to be the next one, so that pretty much means I'm going to be sticking with these three for quite a while now. Um, level 12 we won't get to in the first playthrough. I will continue to play these characters uh, from this point forward and you know get them to the max level so that we can take a look at just some random stuff, speed runs and all sorts of fun stuff like that. We'll try to see you know how quickly we can work through the beta. Uh, just kind of some fun stuff, so look forward to that stuff later on. But for now, I'm just going to be sticking with these three, unfortunately. That's all that we have access to. Look, he got the hit with the knockback every time there. Every time. Alright. Some more skellies here to take care. The rage generation, uh, the fury generation rather, is feeling pretty, uh, pretty low overall here. Um... I expect it to be scaling with, you know, the the more damage you do, the more fury will be generated. Um, that's not, you know, you know, it's just gonna have to wait for upgrades basically for that. But but I do expect that to happen, really. Oh, 
these guys blow up. Let's see if I can avoid that. Even. Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of avoidable. Some health globes. And come on. There's got to be some. I must be able to find Leoric's crown sometime. What's this? Oh, level two. Looking promising. The crown must be near. Yes, the crown must be near. What do we got over here? Anything? Holy hell. Okay. Mango Maw. Dump some of these fury spenders here. And see ya. Lumber Axe of Winter. Oh, is that going to be two-handed axe? Is it? Ah, yes it is. All right. 12.5 damage per second. Now let's take a look here. See if this is going to be worthwhile. Right now I'm sitting at 12.31 with this. 15 damage per second. All right. Now in terms of spells, uh, three fury per attack. What else? What's my other generator here that I have available? Let's take a quick look. See if there's anything that uh, will be worthwhile to replace it. The cleave, that's only the two fury per attack. Uh, but with the slower weapon, that may actually be worth it. Because I won't be hitting as fast. The bash, probably not going to be better. So I think that we will go with the cleave, actually. With the two-hander here. I think that that's going to be my better basic attack. Just given, again, that it's slower. And if I had to rely on single target bashing, may not work as well. And what was that? Yes. That is a wonderful replacement. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Go ahead and break it all down. Scroll of Companion. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> oh, funny chicken. And increase experience. Leave it up, Barb. Let's see how effective this is going to be. And wonderful. Wonderful chances. Alter. I will not allow you to bring that monster back to this world. Don't. Don't be hitting me back, crazy ass chancellor. Trust me, you don't, you don't want to mess with this. Got a ring. And the crown. Oh, stone recall. All right, stone recall, let's look at that uh, before we could go ahead and continue along. Uh, first, first let me put on the ring. Stone of recall is town portal in Diablo 3. Permanent, it has got a 10 second, I believe. Oh, might be a little faster. I, I believe it was around 10 seconds. I could be wrong though. We'll, uh, we'll Get an exact on that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. <laughs> How is this exact? Yeah, it looks like it's 10 seconds. That allows me to go back to town. Uh, what's next <laughs> for the spells here? <laughs> Got to return to town. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, guys. So, yeah, let's, do, let's use the Stone of Recall to return to town. You look kind of silly. And what is that chicken doing? Look at him. He's, he's a weird-looking chicken. Level 7 just from returning to town. Okay. <laughs> Got weapon throw. Ooh. I want to take a look at that. I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. Okay. It's good to work again. What are you going to do? There. New is the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. Oh, I rebuilding the crown. More than making spades to occupy my mind. I'm really done with this conversation. Thank you. All right, so now the blacksmith is mine. Um, so going through the courses of those quests, uh, basically unlock the blacksmith for me. And now we're not going to do the crafting now, but I just want to show it to you. We will be going in depth in future videos to the crafting, showing you leveling up and everything like that. Pretty cool stuff, though. Just really quick at the forge armor section to make armor. Forge weapons, obvious. Repair section, toss items in there for repairs. And then train, which is leveling up the artisan to it further levels to unlock more recipes. Okay, so now, well, first I'll toss some stuff in my stash. And then we will talk to Deckard Kane. Get some of the stuff in here for alternate characters. Deckard Kane, how you doing? Yes, okay. Uh... And that'll bring me to the next area, which actually, where do they want me to go here? Cathedral Garden. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll be going through to that instead of back through uh, the portal. Uh, it's going to be a one-way portal. So you stone recall the town, and then the portal goes back, but then that's it. Once you go through, that's that's pretty much all there is to do. Uh, so I, would, I did want to take a look at the weapon throw. So weapon throw is going to be another Fury Spender. 
Hurls a weapon for 210% of uh, weapon damage. Also slows movement. So Hammer of the Ancients is 180%. Now there's increased crit. Uh, but having the ranged is also really, really nice. No, you know what? I like Hammer of the Ancients better because it's... Yeah, it does to nearby enemies. Uh, again, this is this is a single target thing. I, I think weapon throw is going to be much more suited for, say, PvP. Um, I think that that's a place that it'll be really strong in. Uh, but right now, when I've got big clusters of um, enemies, I, I think sticking with the Hammer of the Ancients is going to be better. And now let's head through to Leoric's Passage. And we're getting close to the end here of the Barbarian Let's Play playthrough, and then we will pick it up with additional characters after this. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. Unlock all sorts of fanciness. So it kills, break some stuff while we're at it. And oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. We need another Leroy Jenkins. I don't think it's gonna be me. <laughs> don't think it's gonna be me. But we could use one. Diablo needs a Leroy Jenkins, absolutely. Oh, beautiful belt. Look at these pickups. I'm getting some solid stuff here. Team Guardian, get back here. That was easy. Cleave is uh, working out to be pretty nice, actually. Do I got a ping point anywhere? No. I guess I'll just have to keep walking. Trace gold. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Don't get crushed. That'd be silly. Yeah, Cleave is uh, turning out to work pretty well with this two-hander here. What are you doing? Get back here. Idiot. You dummy. Pretty gruesome, huh? Let's say. Quick work. <laughs> oh crap! Look at that guy. Jeez, crow. All right. Let's do this. Let's take this. Uh, let's take this one problem at a time, huh? I don't think. Yeah, I really don't think. See again. <laughs> this is a problem with the the melee characters here. Frick. Problem with soloing with the melee. Ah oh, no! No! Run! Run faster! I'm not dying. I I don't want to die. Okay. Oh, health globe. Good. More health globes now. There's one right there. Oh, come on. Why does that guy have to stand right on top of the health globe and those guys kill me? So, do you see those stupid little things that just spawn up from the ground? Yeah. Not a fan. Uh, no, I'm so angry. Really didn't want to die. But again, it's <sighs> It's just one of those things, you know? Uh, obviously, all right. So when I'm playing hardcore, I'm going to be a lot more careful with what I'm doing to try to make sure that we're completely avoiding situations like that. Uh, but that's just so frustrating, you know? It makes it so... And I can't tiptoe around this because I'm doing a Let's Play commentary. <laughs> I'm not going to... You know, I can't tiptoe for too very long. It's just it's going to get boring as hell. You guys won't be entertained if that happens, so... Let's see if we can kill this guy quickly. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Ugh! Alright, quick switch here. Nope, stay away. Got him. Okay. <laughs> but they're still... What am I... What the heck's going on? Ah, oh, the snake things again. What are they? What are they doing? What are they doing? That's what I'm wondering. <clears throat> I am not impressed. I am not impressed at all. The unburied is what killed me, but those things hit pretty hard. All right. Uh, try this one more time, shall we? I can't even target those idiots, too. That's the most frustrating part. 
Seriously? What's going on? Is it this idiot? Is he the one spawning the snake dudes? It must be, huh? Where are the snakes? Nope, they're still there. Look at that thing. Look at him lace me up, and there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Gee, but Jesus. Those things are crazy. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Not even in the slightest bit. <laughs> Not even remotely a fan. <laughs> Alright, I picked up a bunch of stuff. What do I got here? Nothing really. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm frustrated. I did not enjoy that. I did not enjoy that at all. And we got a lot of damage going down here. Health loads. Try to stay out. Guys, oh. stop chasing me guy. Need to not get hit by that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That's the last death ever for Force Barb. He will never die again. Not once. Not ever. This is probably why a lot of people are doing uh, two people commentaries <laughs> to, to completely avoid situations like this. Oh, so frustrating. Take out my anger, anger on the barrel and some loose stones. <clears throat> Two-handed might have been a bad idea. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like it's taking too long for me to dispatch with these big groups. But you know what? I got rid of my one-handed weapons, so this is what I'm stuck with. <laughs> this is what we're working with. <clears throat> All right. Lots of lightning damage. I think that's something that was really kind of beasting me. Let's see if we can avoid those uh, health globes for now until a point that I actually need them. Weapon rack, anything? Nope, not really. Not really. Alright, let's keep walking. I don't think there's anything down here. Chest, though. Nothing. Leather hood. I don't have a helm. There it is. There it is. What's this chest piece? 3% uh, finding items plus the extra armor. I feel like after all that, all those shenanigans that I could probably use. <laughs> I can most certainly probably use the extra armor. And I got a page of training too. Sweet. Next. Next area. Cathedral level 3. Healing well, don't need. Go. 